Welcome to my brawler build, you flailing bastards. This one wasn't easy to make. I have tested almost every possible combination and I think I have finally found the winner for this particular build. I'm not saying this is the only way to create a brawler build, but I believe it's one of the most effective ways. In short, we are squishy, evasive and we rely on critical hit chance and critical hit damage to do our DPS. Next to that we are also quite an efficient medic. Problem with Brawler is that you need survivability since you're at front lines. You need a lot of action points in order to strike enemy multiple times to build combo meter. And you need high mobility. All of this is impossible to balance, so you have to choose one thing over another. That is why I have completely ditched melee damage bonus, meaning I have completely ditched strength and went into creating a fully agile and evasive brawler. It makes sense then then the primary stat is speed. Combat speed is important as it enables us to move more hexes per action point. Evasion is highly important because this is our survivability method. We have extremely low health but we have extremely high evasion. Having the ability to move further thanks to combat speed is all well and nice but we also need high amount of action points to be able to move and strike enemy multiple times. That is why coordination is our second most important attribute. Both of these stats should be maxed out. Third most important attribute is intelligence because of the increased critical chance and critical damage. We also get quite a nice critical heal chance and critical heal bonus. That is why Medic suits this build very well. I would also advise having 2 points into strength because of plus 3 constitution per level gain and also 2 points into luck because of plus 1 to penetration. After you have maxed out coordination and speed, I would advise distributing points amongst the luck and intelligence. Upon creating the character first time, make sure you have 6 intelligence. From there on out you can start maxing out coordination and speed. Quirk that I went with is Deathwish. Deathwish grants us plus 3 to action points, but we also cannot wear armor of any kind. It's not that big of a deal for this build since we have low strength, meaning we won't be able to wear heavier armor anyway. Background that I have chosen is Mopey Poet because of evasion increase. As I said, evasion is quite important for this build, so it all fits very nicely. From skills, you should definitely focus brawling the most. Not because of the weapon hit chance or combat speed. The most important thing about brawling skill is the last upgrade. Upon reaching maximum rank, you're gonna have a perk available that decreases action point cost of brawling weapons by minus one. I went also with first aid and got 5 points into it to get overhealing perk. Being a medic works very well with this build because we have such high mobility that we can reach any part of the map and heal our allies if needed. So we can switch from offense to defense. Another important one is leadership. We only need 5 points, we don't need more than 5 points into leadership. 5 points into leadership grants us Demoralize perk. Demoralize is very important for this build to increase damage we can deal to such enemies with Shaolin Strike. Problem is that leadership works very well with charisma focused builds. Unfortunately we simply do not have points for charisma in this case. This is not your leader. You should have proper leader in the party next to this character. That we are gonna have two demoralize abilities and those are gonna make your life a lot easier, especially for Brawler to increase his damage significantly. Charisma is quite good for Brawlers because of increased strike meter gain. Brawling strike is stunning one, meaning you can stun enemies in your vicinity. 
It is quite a powerful ability, but unfortunately we simply have to distribute points to make our brawler more effective during the early and mid game. As for the rest of the skills, you can go for whatever you wish. I went with mechanics and survival to increase damage against robots, vehicles, synths, animals and mutants. 3 points into mechanics and 6 points into survival are more than enough. By having 3 points into mechanics you're gonna unlock perk that increases damage against robots and vehicles even further and by having 6 points into survival you're gonna unlock perk that increases damage against animals and mutants even further as well. Some good perks for this build are increased constitution and increased evasion non-skill perks. These are quite nice for our survivability. You can also go for increased crit resistance. Crits in this game really hurt, especially on higher difficulties. Next we go for Shaolin Surprise Brawling perk. This is fantastic one that increases armor penetration and damage for every combo meter on our enemy. It, it also deals plus 100% more damage if enemy has been demoralized. That's why we have leadership skill. Other brawling perks that are fantastic are deadly combo and flurry of blows. Overhealing from first aid increases max constitution by 25% for 3 turns, that is quite a nice boost, but it only works on our allies. We can't use med hypo on ourselves to get that buff unfortunately. Next to that we need demoralize from leadership as said before. If there is any kind of mod that would increase your chance to stun an enemy, I would definitely go for it. Stun is such a powerful status effect. Besides that, go for mods that would increase your hit chance, crit chance and damage. Here's an item that will make you very, very hard to kill. Smoke grenade. When you're near the enemy, throw down smoke grenade to increase your evasion with this exact build at this level to 68%. That is ridiculously high. It can go even further up by using defense or even crouching. Best way to play this build is to find a victim, go to it, throw down smoke grenade and start punching to build that combo meter. If you are in trouble, get back. You have plenty of action points for everything. When you have built combo meter to about 3 or 4 on particular enemy, use your team's leader that has high charisma to throw down demoralize on that same enemy. After that you only need to punch them couple of more times until you get to 2 action points remaining and then use Shaolin punch to deal massive amount of damage. This is how you should always play this build. First, use Demoralize from your other team member and while there Demoralize is on cooldown, you use your own. Problem with Demoralize is, as you have probably figured it out, high cooldown. That is why having two Demoralize abilities in your team is of great importance. Anyway, that would be all for this video, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Wasteland 3 content.